running is an act of rebellion. Your place as a crew is to inform where running is going to go in years to come. This just isn't your mom's version of running. If you listen very closely, you can hear a rhythm. The cars and the pavement and the pedestrians. Voices and the language interacts with each other. And it's just used it as a source of inspiration. I do not run. I said I do not run. I pushed the earth down with my feet, leave footprints in the concrete behind me. And my friends, I said I do not run. I do not run. I keep on running from now until I'm old. You don't win silver, my friends, you lose gold. I keep on running from now until I'm old, because you don't win silver, my friends, you lose gold. Gold, 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 gold. My full name is Charlie Duck. At least that's the name that everyone knows me by. And that's the only name that people need to know. It's really important to show people an alternative. And my thing is actually just run because it feels good. Because if it feels good, you're just going to run for further anyway. Running for London is pretty crazy. You're just weaving through people and jumping over bags and cutting across traffic because it's run forever. I run for the high, the smiles, the euphoria of joy. When the endorphins rush through me and I'm no longer that boy. Could have run for the bus, slow at the back of the pack. I run for anyone who's ever watched the race and thought I wish I could do that. To anyone who's looked at their body in the mirror and been unsatisfied. To anyone who's buried close friends who refused to take care of bodies until it was too late and they died. Because I said, I do not run. As I started getting more and more into music and going to clubs, I was scared of dying. So it, invariably what happened is I spent a large amount of time in my bedroom, at home, listening to pirate radio <laughs> and trying to reset the station before mum got home. Charlie and his group Attica Blues was held up even in hip-hop media like Vibe magazine as just the epitome of, of cool. We made a couple of demos in our bedroom and then immediately we're in the studio with the 64 channels and the flying faders and away we went. And it all crumbled. Getting into music kind of gave me a bit of a purpose and the chance to express how I felt. I think sometimes in life you can fly so high that you need someone to just pop the balloon so you wake up and refocus about what your mission actually is. So when I started running, I wasn't thinking about sharing it with anyone. I felt empowered again, and I felt like I had a voice again, and I felt significant again in a city that can make you feel pretty insignificant. I was finding it really hard one night. The self-doubt is creeping in, and as I'd run, I'd be having these conversations with like, come on, fat boy, you can do it. Just trying to motivate myself. The reason why you're finding it so hard is because you're doing it by yourself. It's not just enough for you to be doing it with a couple of mates. As I'm running, I'm like, right, it's not a club. It's not a gang. It's not a posse. It's a run them crew. There were these little running men and would run around London sticking these stickers up, almost like leaving this secret trail for other runners to find and follow. And we're going to bring in what we've learned from parkour and from graph and from streetwear and we're going to apply that. There are times when I feel like I'm at one with my city. I'm giving out energy, it's giving me back energy and yeah, that's pretty amazing. about disruption. The whole idea for me having a crew is not to emulate what was happening in running already. Your place as a crew is to inform where running is going to go 
in years to come.